I'm excited very much to have this free day to make this album. And I've been on this earth for 21 years. And I wanted to make this CD. And what it would do is explain all the stuff that can't be explained in words that I know. I'm hoping through this album to do something incredibly uh, paradigm shifting um, introducing you to power and introducing you to true energy and uh, it takes a while through all my stumbling around inside my head to uh, produce very beautiful pure thoughts. So um, in the rawness of it all comes this CD. Um, how we all have these five senses, these five senses that tell us what reality is. We can feel things, we can connect to the world, we can hear, we can see, um, we can taste it, and we can smell it. And this is how we become detectives, to concentrate around our reality. And I think very much in this term called archetype and archetypes. And I realize when you're speaking in people, if they don't have relevance to the word you're saying, they sort of dismiss it. So what this whole CD is going to be is going to be explaining what an archetype is. The word that we've come to know as God, it's a fairly recent word in human history, and it's a bit abstract in, in the English sense of it. And so what we do is we need to find more words uh, to help us understand what that is above the noise, above the smells, above the sounds. If we're deceived by all the senses that we have and the way this world is put together, well, this comes uh, to me through this astrological archetype. And I don't want, the, when we go, Andrew's thinking about the planets again. Uh, I don't want, this isn't small, this is dynamic. What an archetype is, is how a situation manifests itself over long periods of time in the psychological nature of people in sequential events in history. And it very much is powerful. And I present myself to you like the myths of the planets throughout recorded human history by the scribes that I am Archetype Andrew. And I introduce myself to the reality that you know as this archetype in the way you see me, in the way you hear me, by the, the macro are the microchasm of the the universe. See, even the universe is a box because it is a word. And there are times where you can get so caught up in a situation and you think this situation is not separate from any situation in the universe. Well, we, we have these archetypes. Like, what do we call the Holy Grail? We cannot... The Holy Grail is a box and a limiting thought because we cannot touch it. It is, in a way, when we're looking for a Holy Grail, the archetypes itself, the archetypical nature, how this universe, at its very core, is these light wave particles. And it is an electric universe situations, patterns that seem to surround certain people inside them and outside them. 
it's really clever how we can all relate on this, but as the moon switches each sign, the world goes through a certain rhythm, a certain feel to it. One that you might not even be aware of, that you can make yourself cold to, like, but you'll have that intuition that the time was just right. So this is going to be a CD as an introduction to archetypes. And when I think of my life, uh, my greatest archetype is Pelican music stuff. And one of my gifts, one of my impulses, is to wake up in the morning and put together a whole CD. Just take creative content from what I call headquarters, or from home, from that eternal spot that is separate from time that we can reach through transcendence. And Pelican music stuff was is my progressive awareness that... Um, I am different and independent. Um, and it was pretty much my place where I can show a contribution of all my stars and planets and all my lessons that I assign to the archetypes and the themes and the matrixes that transpose themselves on my life. And what we have is we have the English language. We have ways to describe these energies and different people describe them and they opinionate them in different ways and likes of that. So what Pelican Music Stuff does is I have 21 years, 21 sun rotations of experience now. And whatever I did in that time has led me to here. So what I'm going to do is make this CD. And where we live on the archetypal plane, it actually is going to be a really different experience, I think. Because I think even by the act of saying and giving this lunar repetition that this is a certain power unmatched, a... Uh, a seed in a um, garden that never came up. The cherubim that keeps us from the tree of life. And with my music, it breaks down right on the archetypes themselves. So the music, if, if I wasn't uh, put together with the skills of um, aesthetically putting together a song, it doesn't quite matter here because these songs go straight to the heart of the experience through all the archetypes, through the signs of human nature. And you can come in to the shine of a certain sign after a while. You just have to talk a while and you have to silence the voices. And you come into this archetype, Andrew, What when you're gone, your projection onto the world uh, will be remembered. 